answering your questions about memberships on Uscreen. First one, what would be the best way to do a membership if you're providing a high-end course and you want to ensure that the lifetime value of the course will be paid through the membership, not just one month, and they receive all access and then they leave? So I think this is a great question and I'm going to answer it with an example. Brandon Washington has a membership called Creative Fam Academy where he teaches videographers, creators, how to make better content. Most of his content is included in the membership, like tech guides and job shadow videos, but some content he makes is more of the high-end material that you're asking about. Master classes are higher value and higher effort, so those are sold separately. Something we've seen other successful membership owners do is offer a discount on premium courses to people who are a part of the membership. So in short, a hybrid membership model might be what works best for you. Combine the benefits of a membership with a course, but it only works if you're committed to adding content to the regular membership portion on a regular basis. All right, let's go to the next question. This is from Angie, and I'm, I apologize if I pronounce your last name wrong, but it looks like Natoin. Angie asked, would it be possible to charge in a different currency other than dollars? And the answer to that is yes. You can accept payments from 130 plus international currencies through PayPal, Stripe, Authorize.net, or the Uscreen payment gateway for credit card processing. Plus you can accept in-app purchases if you launch iOS or Android apps with Uscreen. Fitness Career Mastery asks, are you able to upsell other content libraries? For instance, sell high intensity interval training program and then upsell a recovery training program. So Uscreen's subscription upsell tool is actually built to upsell monthly member, people who are like in the checkout process for monthly and upsell them to annual memberships. But for individual content pieces, you have to do some options with bundles. So when your customer goes to buy a video, they'll see all the purchase options from membership plans to bundles or individual pieces of, of content, like an individual video. And this is where we can get creative. I'm going to make up easy prices for this example, but let's say you're selling a hit program for $50 and a recovery program that's also $50. Your customer goes to buy that hit program and they will see all of the purchase options that include that content. So they'll see the membership plans you offer, the one-time purchase plan. So if they want to buy just that bundle or just that course or just that video, whatever it is, they'll also they'll see that and then they'll see a bundle with the hit program and the recovery program that you priced it $75. So you'd have to kind of create a few different bundles to accomplish that, but it allows you some flexibility in how you're able to upsell. So that's a simple way to upsell one-time purchases together, though we, we would recommend that if you're going to upsell from a one-time sale, that you're upselling to a membership so you can take advantage of the recurring revenue. Alan Bondi asked in the Uscreen Insiders Facebook group, is it possible to sell access to a live stream for a one-time fee and then give those customers replay access without having to make another purchase? Shout out to Tristina Kennedy for answering this one in the group, but it's a great question that I wanted to address here. Yes, you can sell live stream access and the replay together with bundles. So sell your live stream access via the bundle and then after the stream is over, you just need to add the recording to that bundle. If you still have questions about bundles and the different kinds of access, we'll put a link to the Uscreen Help Center in the description. It's a wealth of information about all the different tools, features, and ways to use them. Alliance Dance Network asks, does Uscreen work with the Mevo Start and Mevo Multicam app? I apologize if pronounced that wrong. So this person is asking about a camera that's marketed as an all-in-one live streaming device. The short answer is yes. The long answer is you can pick whichever encoding software you want as long as it supports the RTMP protocol, which stands for real-time messaging protocol. It's the way that your video and audio gets transmitted from your encoder to the online video host. So OBS, StreamYard, Restream, etc. are examples of programs that are compatible with Uscreen. Train Like a Warrior Workouts asked on Instagram, can you please explain more about sponsorship opportunities for membership. I run a workout studio with Uscreen and would love to hear more about how I could use sponsors. Thank you. First of all, so glad to have you with us. Usually when creators think about sponsors, we think ad reads, right? But for a membership, things probably need to work a little bit differently. I have two examples of Uscreen creators who do partnerships really well. The first is Justin Rhodes. I'm a big fan of him. I could talk about him for hours. He's a homesteader and his membership, Abundance Plus, is all about homesteading. So he partnered with different retailers like fencing companies, companies, seed companies, and that partnership includes offering a discount code to members. So it's still a benefit of membership, but no one has to sit through his ad reads. Another example would be Kara Duval, who's a fitness creator, although she does something a little bit different. Her partnerships are for merch that she sells on her website. She partnered with two different brands that she already liked and would recommend to her members to create a special line of mats and scented sprays. So if your fitness members are asking what kind of equipment you use, then creating a custom 
custom partnership or getting an affiliate code to provide discounts are two ways you can incorporate sponsorships into your income streams. The important thing here is that your membership is a place to get away from ads. So any sponsors or partnerships need to add value to your members. The other thing that you could explore is that, you know, Uscreen offers you the ability to do tiered memberships. So you could do an ad supported tier, much like Netflix has these days, Disney Plus is adding, Hulu has had for years where you know, the cost of subscription is lower, but in that version or in that piece of the membership it has content that has ad reads or dedicated sponsorship messaging that you can sell. So that's an option. And then obviously the higher tiers that people paid more would remove those ads. So that's another option, although that takes quite a bit more effort and work on your part, but it is possible with the platform. Next, we've got Jim McGahee who asks, how do you get on Roku? Well, mobile and TV app launches go through a similar process at you screen. You Work with a customer success manager and a dedicated app specialist to get all of your assets in order and your app submitted. Uscreen will build and maintain the apps, but you are the owner of the developer account and your customer information. So you can click the link in the corner or in the description for a full video on how to create a Roku app. All right, and then last, Knockback asks, are you Ryan Reynolds? Uh, I wish, if he needs a stunt double, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time.